Inoue Hoama. So we've named our sheet and now we have to uh, start delivering our tasks and rating the progress that our tamariki are making. Firstly, if we come up here to the top left hand corner, we'll see the rating scale that we've developed uh, for Tipu Korero. And the rating scale is from 0 to 4. And these are the indicators that we'll need you to use to make your weekly judgment for each student. Um, we've unpacked the rating scale here. So 0 being no shift and 4 being accelerated shift. And then we've unpacked it further to describe what those shifts actually mean. Um, firstly, you'll need to make sure that you scroll all the way to the top. And you'll see that this is the first box that we need you to rate. If for some reason you can't see that, as you can see now, sometimes the monitoring sheet might end up like this when you've sent it. Make sure that you scroll all the way back to the beginning. So that is um, columns A and B and box number 9. Completed tasks successfully. So for Hone, we're going to rate our tamariki. We're going to rate Hone first. Um, he didn't manage to complete his task. And you'll notice here that it's TT1 which is the name of the set of tasks that we're delivering. And in this instance, it is tuku tohu tohu. So the first two boxes are directly linked to the tohu tohu tasks. So we're going to have to rate hone on these two skills. Can he understand and follow specific instructions to complete a task? Um, minimal shift there. Can he give verbal instructions so others can follow? We haven't seen any sign of that yet. So no shift. The next three boxes are directly linked to tuku pātai, but we do ask that you rate your tamariki um, to show us whether or not their attitude towards learning is becoming more positive as they run through the program. Hone, it's a minimal shift. And generally, um, the shift in the first first couple of weeks is quite minimal. Um, the trend that we've seen over the years is that once they get to week three and four, things really start to happen. So don't be too surprised if you see no shift or minimal shift in that first week for your tamariki. So let's rate Vokura now. Completed task, we can see that. Yes, she did. Can she understand and follow instructions? Yes, she can. We'll say it's a minimal shift. And can she give clear verbal instructions for others? We haven't seen much shift of that yet. And for Petty oh, and, and her attitude, it's pretty good actually, some shift. And let's go to Petty. Did she complete the task? Kaore. Can she understand? Minimal shift. Can she give clear verbal instructions? Not just yet. And what's her attitude towards, towards her learning like? It's not too bad. There's room for improvement. Um, and that's as simple as it is for rating your tamariki. Uh, what we do ask is that you ensure that you rate all the boxes that are required in the first five weeks and for the set of tasks that you are delivering. Petty in week two completed her task. She's made a little bit more shift. So there's some shift there in understanding. Um, she's attempting to give clear verbal instructions. So we'll say that there's a slight shift. But there was quite a um, difference in her attitude. And we're going to rate her at some shift there. And it's as simple as that. We're leaving these boxes because they are tukupathai. We're leaving these boxes because they are directed directly linked to tukufakaro. Namihi.